sababu ya hiyo begu iliyopandwa ndani yako Anything good comes there is something there is kuna kitu cha kupima kama you are qualified Basi twende kwa ule msichana akakaa kwangu <coughs> msichana wangu ule mdogo nikamlipia driving license a driving school nikawaambia hata wewe mwende msome kwangu wafanyikazi na wale wote tunakulaga chakula moja hakuna chakula wafanyikazi labda ya ubwa lakini wafanyikazi wangu na na sisi tunapikaka sahani moja shavulia moja hatuna chakula wafanyikazi kama ni nyama ni hiyo hiyo kama ni, ni sima ni hiyo hiyo kwa hivyo basi alikaa walikuwa na ralu mmoja hako ralu yake huko walikuwa na kapa moja nimekawalipia driving school wote wawili nikaandika cheki wakaenda wakalipa akienda sikujua hakumaliza ile driving aliwacha pesa huko kwa driving school aliwacha pesa kwa driving school na akaenda na kwa sababu hakunikosea na hakuiba hata sijampigia simu sijamuuliza ulienda wapi sababu nilikuwa nimemuadapt kisabu cha Hosea Hosea inasema hivi Hosea moja mstari wa nane. After Goma had warned her daughter she became pregnant again and had another son the Lord said to Hosea name him not my people because the people of Israel are not my people and I am not their god ukiangalia huyu Hosea ameenda akabio aende achukue mwanamke kule Eda uchukue mwanamke kule kwa barabara. Na huyo mwanamke kila akisaa mtoto, rabio huyo si huyo ni malaya. Muite jina hiyo kwa sababu hata Kwa hivyo ule mwanamke hata kuleto hapa kwa mtu wa Bwana hakuzaa watoto walio na baraka. Kuletwa kwa nabii, kuolewa na nabii, kutolewa kwa malaya haikumbadilisha nilikwambia 99% it is your action wewe ndio utakayechukua hatua wakati Mungu alitokezea Samueli alimwambia Samueli watoto wa Eli wamefanya makosa na Eli nimemwambia na amekataa kuwaonya sasa mwambie kile nitafanya hata sadaka ikitolewa haitanyamazisha. Eli akaja akamwambia nieleze vile amekwambia. Akamwambia the same thing. Eli akasema wacha afanye vile anataka yeye ndiye Mungu. Lakini wakati Ahabu alisikia. Lakini wakati Daudi aliabiwa hiyo mtu ni wewe aliaguka. <coughs> akasema Nabi alimwambia Daudi utakufa wewe. Daudi akapiga magoja akasema nimefanya dhambi. Nabii akamwambia basi hiyo kifo haitakupata itaenda kwa mtoto. Kwa hivyo Eli hakuchukua nafasi yake, lakini Ahabu Ahabu alipoambiwa atakufa alikata rufani. Akamwambia Mungu sasa Mungu, si uniwache uni, uni tu tafadhali. Naye Mungu akamwambia e, Elijah Unaona vile Ahabu amenyenyekea. Eda umwambie nimesikia hiyo. Maobi yake. Watu wako bioni kutafuta pesa na hawata sikula. Utaziacha zikiliwa na watu wa mataifa. Kile kimekukosesha kumpata kupata nafasi ya Mungu, hicho unatafuta utakiwachia watu. Wakikula. Na we uende mikono mitupu na anga tupu sababu ile kazi mtu atafanya katika luka 10:17 walipokuja Yesu waliwauliza mume mmefanya nini wakasema tumeko
yako mapepo inatoka na watu wanaponywa Yesu akawaambia niliona shetani akishuka kutoka biguni kama alinipatia hii koti alinipatia hii kazi yake wakati Mungu alitoa hukumu ya Ezekia ama Huweva alimwambia kupuka ile kazi nimefanya nikiwa kijana Tunaogea mambo ya kazi watu wa kuamini mtaendelea tu kuamini kuamini ishara ima, imani sio na matendo is dead kama bia kubuka ile kazi nilifanya nikiwa kijana mdogo anasema katika Psalms 41 if you consider the poor when you are in trouble the lord will come to assist you mstari wa 3 unasema when you are sick <coughs> when you are sick wakati utakapokuwa mgonjwa wale mtafanya kazi ya Mungu mfanye mkijua ni kazi ambayo wewe inalipwa unaweza ukaani point nyingi sana binguni lakini hapa hatuwezi tukawaonesha lakini kama ni government mtatuona na mabendera mtatuona gari zikiondolewa tupite lakini za kiroho hamwezi mkazijua hamwezi mkazijua mama yangu aliaga na labda hakujua kile alizaa labda hakujua ni kitu gani alete dunia where we are going now without education without having god because watoto wa matajiri they are not serious with the god they are not serious with the education watoto wa kibera they are serious with the god they are serious with the education wanasoma shule za upiri na unaona wanapata marks nzuri sana 400 whatever kwa hivyo itaenda hivi kule nyumbani kwangu kulikuwa kwa chief chief alikuwa na 21 acres akauza mimi ninunua chief akiweko chief akafa sasa watoto wake wako kotini wote wanashtakiana ile kasemu kamebaki na wote wako hapo sasa wamepelekana kotini na hata mama yao hajamaliza mwaka kwa hivyo walikuwa na mwagalia tu akufe kila kisehemu kimebaki watakiuza tu kwa bei ya kutupa kwa sababu hawajui gharama hawajui gharama wako kama nyinyi ambao mwenyewe aligaramika hii amegaramika <coughs> akaenda kuzimu alisirubiwa alichapwa akatupatia huu wakovu ambao hatujali hatutaki kujua kama inaendelea ama haiendelei walianza na roho wakamaliza na mwili Naomba Mungu anijalie siku yangu ya kuondoka niondoke nikiwa connected to the spirit of the Lord. I know I'm a stranger here. Maombi yangu ni kujenga hii madhabahu Mungu akinijalia. Ndio siku zile nitakuwa mzee nishindwe kutoka. Takuwa nikimwambia baba yangu kumbuka nilikuja Nairobi. 2003 2000 na 2003 nilianza kukusanya watu na tukakununulia mahali pa watu nimewaachia wakikuabudu it is not easy to reach the level i am without education without spiritual father without getting supporting from any government official it is not easy I'm in a deep prayer. I'm asking you my brother and my sister. Sisi ni wageni tu. Tunakwenda tu. Na huko tuendako. Nasikia watu wakilia. 
Nina kwa kumbusha that we were called we are called we are chosen jiachirieni kwa mikono ya Kristo na mtamuona Mungu hapa duniani ndikwambia mwezi huu ni mwezi wa baraka nililipa mabati nikaenda kwa account yangu nilikuta iko na 800 nikaenda nikatoa 500 nikapatia mtu wa mabati ikabaki 400 and whatever mande nikamwandikia cheki nyingine ya kule Jerusalem jana akanipigia simu akanambia apostle nganga mimi najua wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu nataka nikuelezee siri moja Nilikwambia ni mwezi wa baraka. Akaniambia nikwambia kitu kimoja. Huyu fudi wako amekuogezea 300,000. Hii mabati ameitisha ni nyingi sana kuliko nyumba yako na amekuja hapa akaniambia hiyo laki tatu tugawane mimi na yeye. Nikamwambia hata kama ninaweza fanya siwezi fanyia mtu wa Mungu na siwezi kuiba na yule mtu ni jirani yangu. Kaniambia pesa zako niko nazo, wacha ni supply mabati, ukitaka pesa zako nikulegeshe ama mabati. Nikakubuka ujube wa Jumapili, Bwana alisema mwezi huu ni mwezi ambao atakao kubariki. Na baraka zile ambazo unaweza kupata ni kumjua yeye aishie milele. Maana mali utawacha Marafiki zako watakuacha. Maadui zako watakuacha. Watu watakusindikisha kwa kaburi tu. Watu mlikula nao hata hawatalala hapo wao. Waseme labda unaweza kufufuka. Hata hawatalala hapo wakuangaa wakutie joto. Watakuzika na kisha wachukue sahani wa kule chakula. Kila mtu achukue gari yake na anaondoka na kwenda kwao. Baba yangu amenituma niko na ujumbe wako. Na sijui ninaongea na nani katika mamilioni. I don't know whom am I talking to. But I know in my heart that I'm chosen by God and I'm sent to someone not to all Kenyans. I am not the mighty man of God. I'm just a little man. But I have a message to someone. I'm here seeking the direction of the Lord. I know nothing about tomorrow. Even here I don't know how I came to Nairobi. I'm like a donkey calling the Lord Jesus. He is the one who will give me the direction to go. When he want me to stop, I will stop. When he want me to go, I will go. Akitaka uende huko utaenda huko. Kitaka usimame au na watu utasimama basi Mungu awajalie kaweza kujua kwamba mmeunganishwa na Kristo msiwe kama yule mke wa Hosea ambaye hata baada ya kutoka kwa huko kwote haikumsaidia msiwe kama Eli msiwe kama wana wa Eli msiwe kama Eli hata Mungu anasema nimemwambia huyu mtu na haski. I wish Mungu unionye tu na unipatie kusikia. Daudi aliposikia hivyo alivujika. Abu aliposikia makosa yake alivujika. Tafteni bwana maadamu anapatikana. Mwiteni kwa sababu yuko karibu. Atasikia tu. Mtafteni nimeenda kumtafuta Kongo, nikaenda kumtafuta Nigeria kwa TB Joshua. Nikidhania niko nimepagawa ama nimepoteza mafuta. Lakini akaniambia apostle, kile wewe umewacha ni maombi. I'm now here two weeks, then I go back for prayers. 
because I have discovered that in this ministry of deliverance without prayers you can't pursue the battle is too hard Daudi siku moja alipokuwa anaenda pale alikuta maisha yake imechacha alichachiwa na maisha kila mtu akiona Daudi alikuwa anataka kumpiga na mawe hata wale askari zake walitaka kumpiga na mawe lakini Daudi akajitia nguvu akauliza baba yangu what can i do ni vizuri mtafute nafasi wende ukae kama hali tuna Jehovah mwambie baba yangu nimekuja i'll be here until the day you speak to me nitakaa hapa nikikugojea na usi, usiwache niende nyumbani bila kukusikia Yesu anatafuta mtu kama huyo kamwambia Sakayo shuka Daudi akaambia mfalme wacha mama yangu na baba yangu wakae hapa na mimi niende nikasikie vile bwana anataka kwa sababu i don't know it is me james mine i don't know what god wants with me see you see you sijui mnaasa kuniona na mkafikiria ninajua kila kitu sijui sijaambiwa wakaja na nguo ya mtoto wameipaka damu wakamwambia Jacob mtoto ameliwa na na mnyama Jacob akalia kitambo avujike moyo lakini bwana hakumwambia mtoto ameenda Egypt so there are some of things we have to seek god's approval atwabie this and this open your heart because god is looking niangalieni kama mimi ni mbaya ni sawa lakini angalieni mtu mbaya kama mimi kenya nimekubali mimi ndiye mtu mbaya zaidi lakini angalieni mtu kama mimi mbaya kenya aliyetoka gerezani za hapa hapa kenya Bwana akamtumia tumekuwa na na Reverend wa Rungi. Anahubiri injiri. Ameniambia ametoka banana Satad Sunday. Kuhubiri injiri. <coughs> Aliyokokea mikono ni mwangu. Na nikambatiza wa Rungi Reverend wa Rungi. Tumekuwa naye saa hizi kaniambia anataka tufanye mkutano pamoja nikamwambia you are my son nikamuita akaja mpaka Mombasa nikambatisa mtu ambaye alikuwa ameshida polisi alikuwa ameshida ma CID alikuwa kiongozi wa mungiki bwana akamleta kwa mikono yangu naye akaokoka sasa akawacha kwa mobile sasa ana mobile watu wa mungiki watoke kwa mungiki Ameenda banana ameniambia Warungi babu yake ndiye mwanzilishi wa kupeana kiapo ile muma. Sasa naye ameenda banana kwao ni hapo akafanya ibada hapo. Akaja hapa sijui samwe hapa ndani. Akafanya ibada kule alikuwa anafanya na mungiki. Anaenda anafanya ibada hapo ya kuvunja madhabahu Ndiyo wale watu wako kule waachiliwe. Nikamwambia that's a very thing, good thing you are doing. Tafteni bwana maadamu wanapatikana There must be wrong something wrong somewhere John 8 nasema So Jesus said to those who believed in him If you obey my teaching you are really my disciple You will know the truth and the truth will set you free Kuamini Yesu, kuamini maneno ya Kristo mwana wa Mungu. Kutakuweka uhuru nganga kutoka magerezani. Kutoka kutakuweka uhuru kutokana na kule watu walikuigiza. 
kutakuweka uhuru kutokana na mashambulizi ya ndoto kushika neno la Kristo kutakupatia uhuru wa ukweli from 1992 the time i left prison true freedom uhuru wa ukweli kushikamana na Kristo mwana wa Mungu kuwa na Yesu ndani yako kutembea na Yesu ni zaidi ya kutembea na millions sababu millions tunaweza ukawacha na ukaenda lakini Kristo hata ukaenda wherever you go you'll have Jesus with you take this message people might not see you are Jesus but you will see Jesus always man Jesus is not money Jesus is not color Jesus is not a rage rover no it is peace in life peace in mind and peace in your life and i repeat once again you can't be connected to Jesus then you remain as usual the message i have from from the lord my colleagues i don't know how long i'm going to be with you you might get a chance to go to another country ama unaweza kachoka kama wale wengine tulikuwa nao hapa tulikuwa tukikesha nao i think kazi yao ilisha si wa blame Hatujui Nuhu alikaa miaka mingapi. Marafiki zake walichoka, wakangoa miti zidi alikuwa wamemsaidia na akaenda akaleta. Ninawapenda. If you are true friends, tutamjengea Mungu nyumba. If you are not here for that, I can't blame you. I'm not the one who called you, but the Father knows you. Yesu anasema ukimwamini maneno yake utakuwa na na true freedom wale amja kufuta sigara sigara ina kitu fulani inakaa kwa mtu na hiyo ikiisha you have to go back again it is smoke for all my 20 years but one day when i was in prison after the prayer The man of God prayed for me. I had six cigarettes in my pocket in prison. Nikatoa. Nikasikia hiyo roho imeisha. Tangu siku hiyo. Up to date. The true freedom. It will come to you when you stick in Jesus. When you have time with God. Unaweza kosa marafiki lakini hautakosa moja. Unaweza kuwa una marafiki wengi lakini hautakosa moja. Maadui wa mtu wa Mungu ndio wengi if you don't know. Lakini wiki wao haiwezi ku disconnect huyu mtu wa baba. Ye ulindwa 24 hours a day. There is no demon of death can connect him to die as long the Lord is using the man. John 7 that 7 inasema Yesu akasema John kwangu munywe John kwangu munywe tu Na ile maji mtakunywa itakuwa ikibubujika mito ya maji iliyo hai May God bless you Mukisimama hapa mtainua mikono mwite watu kule Mwambie John munywe tu We love you guys. A 
Asimame mtu hapa alie na Yesu dani yake. Na yaidwe mikono asema John tu kujeni munywe na msilipe. Na kile mtakunywa kitakuwa mito ya maji iliyo hai. Asimame mtu hapa akiwa na Kristo ndani yake. Aogee na shetani amwambie wewe shetani masaa yako imeisha sasa. Ni mtu amekosekana wa kufaa uniform ya Kristo. Ni mtu amekosekana maana maandiko yanasema Yesu alienda usiku. Alienda kukaa kwa mlima. Loko shaka tashaka. Alienda kuomba usiku mzima. Asubuhi akaja kwa kurusedi. Kuna mtu anaweza akajitoa hivyo atumike. Kuna mtu anaweza akachukua hiyo roho ya Kristo kwa sababu wale watu ambao tunaenda kuwachukua wamekwisha hukumiwa kufa upande wa pili. Shetani hakujua kwamba Yesu anaweza kufufuka. Hakujua. Na hivyo ndivyo anajua mpaka leo. Na Yesu akasema wafu watasikia sauti ya mwana wa Adamu nao wata, watafufuka na wataanza kuishi tena you can stand here and dress the uniform of Jesus Christ dress the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ and God will use you because Jesus cannot come again in the fresh here until the last day but he can walk He can walk with you. He can perform miracles, unusual miracles. You can call people. You can prophesy. You can talk to people who devil is misleading. But now no one is fasting for them. No one is praying for them. Our prayers is to get Rejirova is to get in your machoma and that is not the meaning of the calling Matthew 28 number 18 Jesus drew near and said to them I've been given authority go ye now oh god I want to go Mombasa bless my flight Mombasa lord I miss Kolila I miss where I started this ministry nitaenda hapo nitakushukuru ukiniruhusu nitalala hapo nikikwambia thank you father hapa ndipo nilitoka nilikuwa nakaa pale siku sita nilikuwa naingia mande na kama mpaka Jumamosi nilikuwa na nguvu wakati huo saa hizi siwezi bila kikombe ya chai hii ministry ilitoka hapo hii afya niko nayo imetoka hapo hii nguvu niko nazo nimetoa hapo hii ushindi niko nayo nimetoa hapo kesheni mkiomba kama si maombi hatugekuwa kwa sisi wengine ungebaki na picha zetu there is power in prayers Naye bwana kaniambia nije nikwambie take your position take your position Akachukua mamlaka Akaambia mitume sasa mimi ninaenda Go ye all over the world Mkabadilishe watu wa mataifa mkiwafanya wanafunzi wangu We are the fishermen We can't stay here and wait for the fish We are the fish Let every minister stand here and throw your net because it's no longer physical matter it is a spiritual matter Sasa ni katika ulimwengu wa kiroho ni mtu aseme Kawangware aseme Dandora aseme Umoja aseme Mombasa Watu hawa wanataka mtu wa kuwa connect Our connected to awaite ukani kujeni kuja 
Baba yangu wa meniambia, he is coming to defend me. I'm waiting to see that wonderful victory from the Lord. I'm not going to answer any question. I'm not going to any media. I'm not going to respond to any question. I'll remain until this human will see God in action. Tumepewa mamlaka. Tumepewa na uwezo wa kumwakilisha Masia. Tuko na chakula. Chakula ile mikate Yesu alifanya tuko nayo. But si physical blood. As a spiritual matters. Pokeni chakula wale mko na njaa. Once Mungu amesi ndio muujiza uchukue nafasi lazima kuhani asigumuze. Lazima Samueli amwabie Eli. Dio itedeke sasa. Lazima Musa aseme. Dio itedeke. Mungu ashamwabia Musa, sasa lazima mtu aisep. Mungu atoki kule anaenda kwa yule mtu, hapana. Anaambiaga huyu mtu, analandi hapa, sasa anakwenda kwa yule mtu. Niatazame sina fedha, sina dhahabu, lakini kile niko nacho nitakupatia. Simama. Kamwambia Musa, leta watu sabini nitoe baadhi ya roho niliyokuweka ndani, niliyokuwekea ili iconnect watu wengine wale kule sabini mufanye kazi kwa pamoja nasema mkiwa pamoja mtamuona Mungu mkiwa pamoja in one spirit hakuna siku muta depart hakuna siku mtu mwingine ataenda kule ninayo mafundisho kiasi Ezekiel 33 number 6 This is the message of the Lord Lakini kama yule mulinzi akiona Adui wakikuja Asipige tarubeta Na watu wakawa Hawaku onyo ajui ya hatari Inayokuja Adui wakaja na Kumuwa mtu yeyote Miongoni mwao Uya mtu alie kufa Atakuwa amekufa Kwa kosa lake lakini mimi nita mudai mulinzi kifo cha mtu huyo. Basi ewe mtu nimekuweka kuwa mlinzi wa Israeli. <coughs> Utasikia neno kutoka kwangu. Utawapa onyo langu. That's okay. That's okay. Sasa dio position yako dio position yako hiyo Akamwambia nita utakapoona kitu inakuja uonye watu Hao watu wakisikia hiyo onyo shina shida na wewe Lakini kama huyo mtu ata, atakuja hiyo hatari na na huyu mtu afe ba, mtu mmoja afe basi hiyo kifo ni chake amekufa dhabi yake lakini you will pay that soul nimekuweka watchman 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 nimekuweka watchman wewe ukaambia watu utakapoona hatari mimi nimekuambia kuna hatari kuna hatari na inaanza tarehe ishirini. Kuna hatari. Watu wameabudu shetani. Watu wamefinya watu wa Mungu. Watoto wadogo wameigia kwa kila mitandao. Ijiri ya ukweli haiko tena. Watu wote wameigia katika kuchanganyikiwa. Kila mtu anapigana ya kwake. Sasa Bwana kaniambia nije nikwambie wewe usimame kwenye kwenye pengo Bwana anasema nimekuweka kama watchman 
utakaposikia neno uone hata wasipokubali ni shauri yao siku inakuja sasa the day is coming it is very near if it is not jesus to come something kitu kinakuja umesikia hiyo inatagazwa kansa inakuwa every day nimeongea na rafiki yangu yuko marekani ameniambia kuna alokin alokin something like that upepo ambao unatoka kwa bahari na unaenda kwa kazi na unaharibu mahali nyingi sana unafanya vituko nyingi sana kutoka kwa bahari na mtu ameonyesha picha pasta moja wa kutoka na nyuki alikuwa na crusade ndogo nitakuonesha i think tomorrow akiwa kwa crusade bwana ka msichana mmoja akawa analipuka hapo bwana akamwambia hebu toa kamera ati akapiga hapo juu akaona picha ya mwanamke na akainasa na kamera Very soon vitu vitaanza kutembea. Vitaanza kutembea wewe hauioni lakini matendo yake itaonekana. Wanaume sasa wanaoana na wanaume. Tamaa ya wanaume kwa wanawake haiko tena kwa wanawake, iko kwa wanaume. Wasichana nao hawana tena haja ya wanaume, wako na haja ya wasichana. Sodom na Gomora imefufuka. Sodomu na Gomora imefufuka. Ile hofu watu walikuwa nayo nabii amekuja is no longer there. Sasa Bwana kaniambia hivi. My son. Pereka hii warning. Bwana ameniambia take your position in my work and I will take my position in your life and your life will change take your position in the work of god if you want to be a minister of the gospel you must pay the price people will abuse you watakutukana man the devil cannot be happy wakati unatoa watu kwake kati unatembea ukisema yesu anaokoa Unaona ule mtu wa kutoka Kisumu alisema tutakuchukua leo nganga tutaenda nawe Victoria walikuwa 1 million nilikwambia kama si neema ya Mungu tulienda kitabu sisi Now ndio muweze kuwa na na spiritual power you must communicate with the owner you must communicate with the holy spirit You must communicate with Jesus. Jesus is only the one who can teach how to fish. Mtu aseme Bwana Yesu nifundishe kufua samaki. I don't like you to pray other things. Talk to Jesus. Lord I'm here. Lord I'm here. Bwana Yesu niko hapa. Nifundishe kukujua. Nifundishe kuvua. It's only Jesus who can give you the keys of heaven and the keys of here on earth. So I want you to talk to Jesus. Bwana Yesu nipe fuguo. Fugua za hapa ni za kufugua mambo ya hapa. Fugua za bigu ni za kufugua mambo ya spiritual matters. Fugua za hapa ni za kufugua gari. Za kufugua mashaba, nafugulia gari zangu. Nafugulia marafiki, nafugia maadui. Ije. Fugua za bigu ni za kufugua new anointing. I now release new anointing. I now open a new chapter in my life in my ministry wherever I'm going 
new chapter Jana mzee mmoja alipiga simu nikachukua nilikuwa live. Ndio huko kwetu tu pande za kikuyuni. Akasema wewe nganga waachana na uongo yako hiyo unadanganya watu hapa. Nikamwambia Mungu akubariki. Basi kama hii ndio uongo. Kama huu ndio shetani tuko naye. basi aina haja ya kuokoka kama huu ndio shetani atatupatia maua kama hizi na watu wa shetani unawaona hapa it's only jesus who can show you the light way to go in your prayers umwambie bwana yesu Nionyeshe njia. Nionyeshe njia nitapitia. Njia ni nyingi sasa. It's only Jesus through the Holy Spirit can show you the light friend and the light way to go. Ukitumia mawazo ya binadamu. You go nowhere sababu itakuonesha tu kwa juu mama moja sitamtaja tu lakini nahubiri ameniambia bwana yake alienda walifanya harusi kanisani pasa kawauliza mlitoa mimba mliwahi kufanya hiyo kasema hapana wakafugwa harusi na hii ni siri yake amekaa nayo basi nyumba imekaa hawakupata mtoto hawajapata mtoto for more than 20 years 10 years sasa kaniambia wacha nikuelezee mtu wa Mungu nilipokuwa msichana mdogo ndugu yangu alala na mimi my brother alala na yeye hey. brother yake alala na yeye hey. na kwa sababu ilikuwa ni mara ya kwanza akija ya pili akamwambia ai mimi sasa we inilisikia uchugu sana ndugu yake akamfanya na, na kidole akamuonyesha vile atafanya na kidole sasa yeye yeah, aka adapt hiyo akawa anafanya hivyo na kidole akafanya secondary yote akamaliza alipomaliza secondary the first man mwingine akaja walipokuja akapata miba sasa huyu alipojua amepata miba akampeleka hospitali akampeleka hospitali kuna watu wako na na spirit ya shetani anaweka we miba unaenda unatoa unaingia hiyo take this word don't cover the book with a different cover you don't know about those things fuga mdomo yako uliza wale wanajua atafanya mapenzi na wewe ulafiki ulafiki after mipe meigia tu mnatoa anawachana na wewe sasa alipoenda akaweka ye miba akampeleka ambia ni kuoshwa tu kube ile miba imetolewa akaja akamwambia hiyo maneno ukae nayo mpaka kaburini usije ukaambia mtu hiyo maneno na kaida zake sasa akaenda kuolewa kanisani na harusi pasta akauliza mume wafanya kitu hapana ujala ah sasa ni 10 years nyumba imevujika bwana ameenda mama amesema ameshikwa na ugojwa sijui ugojwa gani msia ameenda kwa mwanamke mwingine sasa kaniambia nataka nikuelezee hii ndio nikivuja madhabahu ujue kile ninavuja 
Sasa nikamwambia hiyo ndio imefanya shida zako zote hizi. Sababu hata baada ya kuokoka uko na kitu hidden. Mtume alikuuliza umefanya? Ukasema sikufanya. Alimuuliza Anania, umechukua kiasi? Kasema sikuchukua. Kifo kikaingia. Sasa nikamwambia huyu mama kifo cha kiroho kiliingilia hapo. Unaona watu wanaobewa na wengine wanakufa. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu kuobewa haijamaanisha madhabahu imefungwa. Yesu alimwambia umeponywa. Enda kwa kuhani ukamtolee. <coughs> Sadaka ya onyesho. Ule mama alinipigia simu juisi. Nimemwambia sinipigie simu tena. Sababu nimemuita sasa ameniambia mguu inatoka. Bega inatoka. Ule niliweka meno. Muru ndiye mwalimuweka meno. Nikaitana hapa siku moja nikasema, "Nasikia mtoto analia." Wewe kuja hapo, uliweka mtoto kwa karatasi ukatupa kwa choo. Alikuwako hapa hakuinuka. Tukamweka meno, alikuwa anaanguka meno inatoka tukamweka meno nitaanika hiyo dio watu wajue madhabahu kama hautaivunja mama yako atalia kama hatalia mtalia the whole family inasema ni watchman amewekwa akwabie ameishi akiaguka hiyo tukamweka meno kwa sababu niliitana hapa siku moja wewe kuja kuja Ha, ha kutokezea sasa wakati ameaguka tena mkono imevujika ime imewekwa plasta na mguu sasa imeanza kutoka sasa ndio anasema mwabia aposto mimi ndio ule mwanamke aliyetupa mtoto kwa show jusi nikapewa simu yake nikampigia kaniambia ni sister in law tulienda naye tu kama alikuwa na na mwezi gapi alilia that means alizaliwa mkaweka wapi tuliweka karatasi tukatupa kwa choo usione unamwobea na anakwenda kukufa ukalaumu mhubiri maduka anasema hivi katika Johana 12 hapo walitaka kumuua Razalo kwa sababu ya ushuhuda wake. Sasa wale mnaobewa kesho si unakuja. We jo hapa na kisirani yako hiyo. Naokosa kuvuja madhabahu. That is up to you. After kukombolewa, you must be serious with the gospel. Ama sivyo usikuja hapa, don't come. Kaa kwako kama ni kwenda twende wale tunaenda twende mkijua Yesu ndiye bwana wale mtabaki mtabaki mkijua Yesu ndiye bwana tunaniambia ati mtu nilimwobea na akafa sasa ni mbebe na mgongo akakae kwangu Six days Before the Passover, Jesus went to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, the man he had raised there. Which mother? Okay, let me go back. Siku sita kabla ya siku kuya pasaka, Yesu alifika Bethania, aliko ishi Lazaro, ambaye Yesu alikuwa amemfufua kutoka kwa wafu huko huko waliwaandalia wali chakula cha jioni naye madha akiwa anawatumikia Lazaro alikuwa moja wa wale walio kuwa mezani pamoja na Yesu basi Maria alichukua nusu lita ya marashi
Okay. Prot against Jesus. I want to get somewhere here. In, okay, let me go to John 12, number 9. A large number of the people heard that Jesus was in the Bethany, so they went there not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus. When Jesus had raised from death, so the chief priest made plans to kill Lazarus too, because on his account many Jews were rejecting them and believe believing in Jesus wale mtaponywa wale mtaponywa wale mtaokolewa ninawaambia kabla mkuje kesho uelewe kuponywa kwako inaweza kukuletea kifo cha mapema you must be serious sababu shetani hataki kuona hiyo ushuhuda amekuweka kwa kitanda miaka kumi Leo hii umeponywa umeanza kutebea ukisema ni Yesu. Wona fikiri shetani anangatangata huko kwa media akisema nganga kwa nini? Kwani mimi ndio mwenye dhabi Kenya mkubwa? Bona hiyo geje mambo ya Warugi. Bona haikuogea hiyo ya Warugi wakati huo. But kwa sababu unasema ulikuwa jela, ulikuwa na mkokoteni, Mungu amekubariki, anaponya watu, the devil is mad. Sasa watu walikuja, naongea na wale mtaponywa. Naongea na wale mnatafuta, naongea na wale mnaokoka, wachana na sarakazi zako. You will go to the grave early. Nimekutabiria hivyo. You have to change and give the glory to Jesus. Lakini ukitia mugu moja huko na mugu moja huko unaenda kaburini. Niliambia mhubiri moja, jusi nikamwambia, wachana na hiyo uongo unafanya. Sasa nimeona amerudia tena. Nikamwambia sasa kile kitakupata usiseme nabii hakukwambia. Sababu litampiga wingu hautaamini macho yako. Kwa sababu ya utukufu, kwa sababu ya sifa ya Lazaro. <coughs> kwa sababu ya hiyo ushuhuda ambayo inafanya watu wakuja kanisani. Wao nafikiri ah watu wanakuja hapa. Wao unasikia mwenyewe wakiandika wakisema hata nganga akipigwa wach, kanisa yake bado inajaa. Kwa hivyo lengo is not nganga, is the church. Lengo si nganga. Lengo ni church. Ate nganga amesema mama alivaa viatu vibaya. Na ile mtu nimepatia gari Na ile mtu nimepatia 1016 lakini kwa sababu ni wa upande ule na ndio iko na watu wengi let me tell you watu wa Mungu we are very few here on earth wadogo wadogo sana hata ukapewa hesabu yao utashaga dunia gani tuko wale watu wabao wako na bendera ya Kristo leo tukafunguliwa Yesu aseme aya tokeni kwa mwili mtebe hapa utashaga utashaga Walitaka kumuua Lazaro. Kuna vitu bili zinataka kukuua. One is because you are not in your position. You are helping the devil to abuse the kingdom of God. Mbaka kanisa kama hii mpaka ichagishe pesa. Mbaka tuite mtu wa mataifa diyo aje tupate milioni bili. Baka tutafute walevi. Walevi wakuja hapa na, na pobe zao. Tuwapatie microphone wakae. Watu udumie sisi wate ule. Tumbe microphone achagishe pesa. Kanisa ina watu wegi na mna hii. Naogea na entire body. 
not only here kwa sababu wale wako ndani wako na ubinadamu they have never decided to go lakini mtoto wako utampeleka wakienda kufugua shule utaenda kumchukua utampatia pocket money utamnulia sababu utamri, sababu ni mtoto wako lakini haujui huyu ni mtoto wako utamkuta biguni siku moja huyu namuona hapa walianza na mwili na roho wakamaliza na mwili kuna watu wengi ambao shetani amezuia mali yao kwa sababu they are not in their position nilikuwa na duka yangu Mombasa nilikuwa nataka kuwa na wholesale kubwa niwe nikisaidia kanisa lakini nikaigiwa na kitu tu nikaipeana ile duka yangu nikasikia ni join food and ministry asimu mpaka leo niko kwa duka nikiuza masiwa na mkate hii huduma ingekuwa wapi bwana kaniambia take your position in my work and i will take my position in your life and you will and your life will change completely bwana kaniambia nikwambie chukua nafasi hizi maua sijui nani wanatoaga sijui sinawekwa maji si kama zamani zilikuwa zinakauka kauka take your position in the kingdom of god i'm a musician i play my guitar for 20 years mpaka niko na alama hapa nikitoa guo utaona niko na alama hapa pale ukishika hapa pale gita hii gita yangu ni mzito sana take your position minister jana niliambia wale watu wa redio kama ingekuwa mtu kama Matian miaka inayokuja awe president na mtu kama Sonko awe deputy na mtu kama Nganga awe kwa hapo kwa Matian tugenyorosha watu tukiwaweka kwa box tu watume China assume Matiang ndiye president na Sonko ndiye deputy na Nganga ndiye wa <laughs> na watu wamechezea maofisi mtu akipewa ofisi yake anaichezea tu sasa basi wewe mimi niko na shida sijui nimeongea watu wana guo fupi sijui nime... sababu is my office sitaki kati wao mimi sitaki kupigiwa makofi na mtu no i'm called Ezekiel 33 abia watu wabie wewe sikuji modify hivi then you come to church to do what is this a, a, a market why are you doing that and you know is the day of worship jana nilikaa mahali nikafikiria nikaona msichana mmoja nikaona ameanza kubadilika nikasema na akili yangu huyu hakuwa hivi nikasema nitamwambia acha nifike hapo It is only you Jesus who can give us peace we need. Now you talk to Jesus. Ni wewe tu bwana Yesu unaweza ukatupatia ile ile amani tunataka. Ni wewe tu unaweza ukatupatia amani. Bwana Yesu ni wewe tu. Ni wewe unaweza ukanipa amani. I'm so stranded. Ni wewe tu unaweza ukanipa nganga amani. Ni wewe tu bwana Yesu. Yesu akawakuta mitume. Walikuwa wamejifugia kwa nyumba kwa sababu ya hofu ya wao Yahudi. Maana walitaka kuwaua. Yesu akawaambia, "Peace be with you." Pesa haiwezi kukupatia amani. Madaraka haiwezi kukupatia amani. Alikufia mtu hapa, MP, na askari zake waliuawa hapa wote na walikuwa na buduki zao Buduki
mtu haina amani haina peace pesa haina peace madaraka haina peace lakini Yesu akaingia akawaambia peace be with you nganga maana walikuwa na hofu <coughs> kwa sababu watu walikuwa nasema wapigwe kwa sababu wamelete hiyo dini mbaya hapa they were surrounded as today we are Yesu anakuja amesema take your position my servant take your position and I will take my position in your life mtagawana maisha ya kristo na yatagawana maisha yako au takuwa mtu wa kufinyiliwa au takuwa mtu wa kuwa wanaumbu aliwao na malaria utakula siku zako na zaidi utaogezewa anasema if you worship me nataka ukisimama hapa mwambie bwana Yesu nipe amani tu nifundishe kuhubiri nioneshe ile njia ninaweza nikapitia mimi nilikuwa na kama Mombasa mimi sikujua Nairobi bwana akaniambia enda Nairobi nikaja Nairobi sikujua nianze wapi Nikaanza hapa Sonolak Nikaenda Bavesh Kaja nikakodisha hapa nikifika hapa ndipo nikapata hapa na mimi nikapata kwangu Zile nyumba nilikaa tangu niokoke ni nyumba sita Nilipagisha nyumba sita nyumba ya saba ni ya kwangu Anasema take your position and I will take my position in your life Atakuogosa mpaka hiyo nyumba ambayo imejaa mali yako na sio hiyo nyumba tu naona peke yake. Kuna nyumba ingine juu biguni abako wate ule watakwenda kukaa. Amesema take your position. Sasa ukamwambie ogea na Bwana Yesu mwenyewe. Bwana nipe amani, sina amani kabisa. Maombi yangu mimi ni hiyo. Mimi sina amani kabisa. Roho yangu haina amani. Nimetukana na watoto wadogo nilienda pale Rungai hapo jia ya kutoka Rungai hii stage ya kwenda university hiyo iko hapo nikapitia hapo hiyo duka iko hapo si, wasichana wakatoka hapo wakanishambulia wakanitukana ilikuwa nirudi pale wasichana wakatoka wakanilukia na maneno wakanitukana wasichana hapo rungai for no reason hata usiku nikioba nikauliza Mungu sasa nini ni bwana nimekufanya kwa nini Mungu nini nimekufanya kuna mtoto niliobea hapa juzi Toto mdogo analalwa naye na wanaume usiku. Alisema alia, anamka usiku analia, ni mtoto mdogo tu. Analia. Alishagaza akisema, aliuliza Mungu, Mungu nilikufanya nini? Nikamuliza bona ujaabia mtu bona ujaabia mama kaniambia nikiambia mama yangu atanichongoa kwa nini kuna siku nilimwambia mama ninaota nikipaa kaambia ungepaa wewe kabisa sasa ule mtoto ameishi na shida 
na hawezi kupata mtu wa kumsaidia sasa nikakubuka huyo mtoto na nikaona hawa asichana video wa meni basi usimame kwa miguu yako tumuulize Mungu kupitia jina la Yesu Bwana ni wewe tu naweza ukanifundisha kuabudu Ukamwambie tu Bwana Yesu kupitia roho yako ni wewe tu naweza ukanifundisha kuabudu Mama yangu hakuwa wa kuabudu Nimezaliwa na watu ambao hawakuabudu Sina picha ya jinsi wanavyokuabudu lakini wewe unifundishe nami nitakuabudu Ya mwisho utamwambia Thank you Jesus the son of God receive the glory and honor Sina kitu naweza kukupatia Hata sadaka zangu hazifai Maji ni yako jua ni yako hata hii hewa ninafuta hata uhai wangu niko nao wewe ndio umenipatia receive the glory and honor tutainua mikono yako na wale mko nyumbani tutafanya ibada tuite wale watu wako nje lakini kabla tuite hawa watu wako nje nimesikia tu kwamba hebu tuweke huyu huyu I, I, I want us to have sababu masai imeenda niweke huyu kijana wa kutoka dhika huyu wa kutoka dhika kwa sababu kuna watu ambao Mungu anataka musimame hapa musimame mkiwa Yesu mnyoshe mikono yenu pembe zote nne na watu watakuja ambao hawawezi kuruhusiwa lakini mukisimama kwenye pengu na muwatolee sadaka hiyo sadaka ina uwezo ya kuwatoa kule waliko Berekana wapi na wewe? Kibia. Kibia wende. Kibia. Kibia huko. Hapa chini, ingia chini hapa. Chini, chini ni hapa. Kibia mara moja. Kidia, changanyikewa. Lelea hapo. Lelea hapo nione. Lelea hapo. Lelea hapo. Lelea hapo nione. Lelea hapo. Hapo ndio mwisho. Kaa hapo. Hapo. Kaa. Wewe ni nani? Who are you? Mimi ni mwanamke. Eh? Mwanamke. Mwanamke? Eh. Wa wapi? Vika. Mwanamke wa dhika. Eh. Oh, unafanya nini kwa huyu ndani? Nimeamshika. Ulishikae wapi? Kila kitu. Ulifanya nini? Nimemfunga. Ulifungaje? Chote. Wewe si yana ki? Paka kazi. Ulifunga? Kazi yake. Ulimpa nini? Kuna. Eh? Yeah? Akuna. Ulifungia ya nini? Biti yake. Eh? Yeah? Biti yake. Hautaki bidi? Eh, yeah, biti yake. Sasa wewe ni mganga ni mchawi. Paka chakula yake. Eh? Yeah? Paka chakula yake. Ate baka chakula yake nimemshika. Chakula? Eh. Hawezi kula. Hakuna. Eh. Hawezi. Hawezi kula. Hawezi. Kwa nini? Hawezi. Chakula ni yako. Nimemshika. Chakula ni yako. Nimemshika. Kunishikaje? Eh, nimemwekea ndawa. Eh. Nimemwekea ndawa. Dawa ya mapenzi. Eh. Eh. Ako na bibi. Eh. Ako na bibi. Na ulimwekea dawa gani? Kazi nilifunga. Dawa gani? Dawa. Eh, ya kufanya nini? Ya kukasa kati. Huyu. Eh. Kaa hapa. Achukua mzigo wako. Kimbia. Kimbia kuzimu. Kuzimu. One, two, three. Namuka. Tukwa api. Huku ni wapi? Eh? Huku ni wapi? Eh? Huku ni wapi? Uliza hawa nani? Waulize. <coughs> Waulize hawa ni nani? Nyinyi ni nani? Na kuna nini? Ay, kuna nini? Si uliza hawa. Hawa tu wote kuna nini? Uliza hawa. Huku nilikuja hachi. Eh? Huku nilikuja hachi. Si wauliza na kikuyu. Wewe uko huko kile hata ya. Eh. Ndio wote wera. Kari koko koli. Ibu wote hari koko. Niko dukimoria huko niko. Huko niko. Jira yako nyuri niko leo. Jira yako nyi. Mbele mako ni jira. Jira yako. Eh? Leona do igi. Huko niko. 
Mwenyeko Unajua kusimu? Uh, Unajua? Uh, uh, kibia huko. Enda ukirea. Enda ukirea. Enda ukirea. Two, three. Tusalimia. Ya yeah, barigani. Nzuri. Naito nani? Masharia. Masharia nakawa wapi? Rika. Hapa ni wapi? Njuhi. Eh? Huko ni wapi? Gai mwatha ni jesu. Kujaje huku eh ili kujaje huku fanya hivi sema mtakuja sema makaburi ndio ziko wate ule ifunguke na mbuje hapa pesa makofi hapa ni kwa nani sijui eh huko ndo wapi shiuliza watu hao Kimbia. Udi anara ije na mama yake. Paka. Paka. Kanyau. Paka. Kanyau. Eh? Kanyau. Ka hapo. Who are you? Eh? Wewe ni paka ama ni umbwa? Eh? Ni paka. Paka ya wapi? Ametumwa. Eh? Ametumwa. Umetumwa? Eh. Ufanye nini? Anaangaisha. Eh. Anaangaisha. Hawa. Eh. Wanaangaika? Eh. Utaangaika? Eh, utaangaika. Wataangaika? Utaangaika. Mko angapi? Anaangaisha. Eh? Niko 50. Eh? Hawa. 50. Eh? Eh. eh. Simama nikuone, hebu simama. Simama. Simama nini waonde? Simama. Simama. Simama ni waonde? 
Simama. Paka. Paka. That one. Huyu anakanyau walienda wakanunua shamba mahali. Kisha waliponunua shamba a uh, Bwana yake akafa walikuwa amelipa 50000 na ilikuwa ya 200000 Bwana yake alipokufa yule mtu aliwauzia akawaambia mtama Sasa all of a sudden wamepigwa wako huku Nairobi Huyo mama alisema na lakitebeaga huko because of that Huyu mwingine utamuona I think kesho ana kioski yake pale dhika alitoka amekaa nje 18 days huko akisuguka sasa hata hajui vile alikuja hapa that's why ninakwambia mkioba mseme we kuja wewe John munyu wa maji sababu kule wamefungwa akili zao haziko lakini ukiitana wewe in the name of Jesus spiritual world utaweza kuingiza mkono mpaka kule ukate hicho kifungo na utaona watu wakija hapa wakisema hata mimi nilikuwa napita tu sababu ficha wavuvi wavuvi wanatoa samaki ndani ya maji sasa hiyo knowledge iwe ndani yako knowledge ya kuvua knowledge ya kusugumuza kama ji, kama Yesu jioni kwangu nyinyi ambao mnasumbuka jioni kwangu nyinyi ambao mnasumbuka na ndawapa maisha mapya in the name of Jesus jioni kwangu wale ambao mahukumiwa kufa na ndawapa uhuru Jesus comes and live inside you there is time to pray and there is time to speak like Jesus to invite people in the kingdom of God kutoka leo hiyo pombe ya kunywa tena kutoka leo hiyo malaa imeisha kwako kutoka leo Mungu atakubariki na atakutumia that's what a man of God told me in 1989 alisema Mungu atakubariki na atakutumia simama na miguu yako usogee hapa sadaka zako ziwe na mikono na miguu ziwe zina maana tatu maana moja ni ya kulete uungu maana moja ni ya kuabudu Mungu maana ya pili ni yako mwenyewe sababu Hebrews 5 inasema Kuhani ainuki isipokuwa ameinuliwa ameinuliwa ndio atolee watu sadaka kwa mfano atolee watu sadaka na atoe yake kwa sababu hata yeye naye ni mudhaifu there is no way anaweza kuwa malaika wewe you have ma, una bwana yako una, una mke wako uko na wewe ni mtu tukimaliza ibada utarudi kwa mtu kwa hivyo kuna mambo ambayo itakuwa dama ya binadamu. Hata uvae guo devu, wengine wanatoa hiyo guo yako. Wanakutoa. Sasa mwenye kutoa kufanya kama wale mnakuja siku ya leo. Niliwaambia msikuje siku ingine hapa. Unakuja kufanya ibada kwa sababu ya kesho. I want only people who knows that ninaenda pale si kwa sababu niko na shida si kwa sababu sina ngombe naenda kufanya ibada kwa sababu ya kesho Thursday wale watu watakuja pale mtumishi wa Bwana asifanye asichoke na wao maana hao watu wanafanya kazi hapa usiku wa leo wakifanya hiyo kazi mimi nikija nitakuta kazi ime, imepugua imepugua maana roho wanawekwa ili wafanye kazi pamoja na wewe usifanye peke yako so kama wakilima ilikuwa 200 ilikuwa 100 walime walime ibaki watoe watoe ibaki 25 so when i come here tomorrow kazi imeisha im, im, kama wakitoa hata 15 nije nitoe 85 sasa ukisimama hapa usimame as a minister Mungu amesema ni watchman Mungu amesema stand in your position take your position in my ministry in my kingdom and I'll take my position in your life na utakuwa mtu wa kuagaika utakuwa mtu wa kushindwa na vita it can't be wale watu wako na mugu hawashidagwi hata ukaona kama anaenda kuisha ataamka Samsoni ataua watu wengi sana 
if you want to remain connected in this God spirit you must remain in the word of Jesus do right things find a view to believe you are happy your company must be of the same spirit marriage work or talking for example marriage lazima iwe in a both side are in one spirit usioe kwa sababu mtu huyu ako na pesa nyingi usioe kwa sababu mtu huyu ako na pesa nyingi ako na madaraka you won't go anywhere but if you marry the person in the spirit one spirit that marriage will live for longer itaishi maisha mengi agaria work kazi ile unafanya kuna mahali tuko na hoteli nikaambia manager sitaki mambo ya pombe kwa hoteli wacha ipatikane pesa dogo lakini sitaki pesa ya pombe kasema hoteli hii itakaa bila pombe kabia wacha kae sababu uwezi kuwa na hoteli na uza pombe na huku we nayo unahubiri watu waache pombe uwezi kuwa na ubiri watu waase kusegenyana na wewe unasegenyana talking nimesema for example marriage work and talking masugumuza siku hizi ndio imeleta shida nikwambie hebu chukua simu yako ehe unaona ujawahi kuona hii ukijaribu tu ukifugua iluminati na wakisha tu shika namba yako you are connected siku hizi kumaingia masugumuzo ya ushetani tu ushetani tu unapita tu mtu akujui we unajua huyu unajua huyu aliambia yule mtu nilipatia pesa hapa wacha kuona hiyo tv mimi wasiana wengi wa nyumbani wale wanafanya kazi wanaonaga hii tv mchana mabosi wakiingia hawawezi kuiona mabosi wenye dawa ya pressure basi agalia hiyo mtu mnaogea naye ako na roho gani maana muta change muta change spirit jude inasema jude moja 20 something hapo inasema muatoe kwa moto na mjiangalie msije m... nataka usimame hapa tufanye ibada na tukifanya ibada kesho jioni utarajie kuona muujiza people are coming people are coming niko na hitaji ya 2.2 million sababu tv haijalipwa na kuna kamashini kamoja nimeambiwa kana toka 1.2 kakuweza kulegurate hii tv ndio wakati nimeongea mambo ya hapa iwache kwenda on air nimetoka kutafuta leo kanataka 1.2 na television haijalipwa 1 kitu kama 1.2 ile view sat imeshida kwa sababu what we have naona haiwezi so i'm appealing to you guys whoever whatever you are mwelewe kwamba hatuna watu wakubwa wale mko nyumbani mapati na wetu ni wale watu wadogo sababu the learned people cannot support and learn it that's number one even they can sit down to to listen me learned doctor lawyer prophet eh uh, whoever na rich men cannot sit down to reason nganga nganga talks nonsense he behave like a uh, na mimi sina ujumbe wao nimetumwa kwa kondoo aliyepotea 
Yesu akasema wale walio na afya hawamhitaji daktari. Wale watu wanakuja hapa munisaidie ni wanyonge. Wanne wako kule Shilo. Wale wa kutoka Nyeri na mtoto wake na yule wa kutoka Baringo wanapewa chakula na mahali pa kulala. Ndio wakienda Baringo ni mbali, hawezi pata nafasi ya kurudi. We unasikia unaweza hiyo. Ukisikia kama roho yako haitaki don't try. Don't send your coin. Lakini yule mtu nimetumwa kwake. Walipokutana macho tu Samuel na Sauli, Allah akamwambia ule mtu ni huyo. Kamwambia pata kule kwangu. Wakati Elija alifika pale, alikuwa amekaa akaja mwanamke kuokota kuni sababu she is spiritual connected we don't use guesswork that's why anasema ukisikia kama wasiwasi don't try to support me sababu we don't use guesswork these people are prepared wale watu wametumwa wale wa kutumwa na wale wanakwenda wameprepare kawaambia mwende mtakuta mtu amebeba mtungi mfuate ye kakuta mtu ana gereni hawakufuata ana kikapu lakini walipoona mwanaume amebeba mtungi wakamfuata ile nyumba aliingia kamwambia bwana anasema akawapatia sababu spiritual world wako connected are you born again and you are struggling for that stop ask the lord first of all for connection are you struggling to come out of that? Stop. Break that altar. Buja hiyo madhabahu. Na utakuwa na wepesi wa kutoka. Unataka biashara na imekata basi ni roho hauna ya hiyo. Lakini akiweko dani yako tuoneshe chumba chako kile kizuri Mwende mkatupe nyavu upande wa kulia walipotupa tu samaki wakaja sogea hapa tumwabudu bwana thank you very much mama wa kitui naona sogea hapa sogea hapa Soge hapa. Tunataka kufanya ibada ya wale watu wa kesho. Wacha shida zetu kwanza zikae. Kwanza tu tuombe Mungu kwa sababu ya kesho. Pale mwisho tutamwambia Yesu na mimi unikubuke. Mitume hawakula mikate kwanza. Walilisha watu walilisha watu watu walipokula kwanza sasa Yesu akawaambia John hapa sasa wakaenda mahali pengine wapate kukula take your position kutoka leo take your position be ready to pay the price be ready to pay the price Yesu alisema kila mtu atakaye nifuata achukue msalaba Unaona zile vidonda niko nazo kwa sababu ya level ambayo tunaenda ile level tunaenda you be shocked the level we are going after this Uelewe muujiza wako hiyo duka yako hiyo gari yako inauma shetani sana Uelewe ukitebea hivi umevaa suti hivi shetani anasikia kukumeza kwa sababu unapeana utukufu kwa Yesu unapoamka kwenda kanisa unapohubiri injiri wanataka kukuua walitaka kumuua Lazaro kwa sababu watu wengi walimwamini Yesu Salimia mtu mwambie ubarikiwe mwambie kwa kabila yako mwambie ubarikiwe na Mungu lazima unegai na no, mwambie ajipe moyo wewe umiririe kwa kabila yako 
lazima ni gai na ekie binya na 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 I want to see you another day as a minister. Nilitaka kuwategenezea kuna guo nime nime nimepima nitapewa sample kesho ya kuifanya ya this is special day. Nitailete kwanza muione. Nataka iwe ya ya siku hii ya leo. Mtu atatoka kazini akiwa nayo na haitavaliwa sokoni, haitavaliwa popote. Akishaingia tu hapo wa Wednesday anaivaa ni nguo ya makuhani itakuwa special ya kuinua madhabahu washi
Lucien, mais comment on est moi Royal, mais comment on est moi Naïo Aki, mais comment on est moi My son, in your hands. Wajiria wale wana kuja. Wajiria wale wana kuja. Nabi ui na itoa. Kwa wale wako inje. Nini ambao muko inje. John impate kujua maji. John impate pumziko. John impate msamaa. Wherever you are, just come. Wherever you are, just come. Wherever you are, unanisikia. Wale unanisikia, John. Just come to Jesus. John impokoke. John impokoke. John impokoke. John impokoke. Wherever you are, unanisikia sauti yangu. Kwa mwili wawu Na itawada walifukumiwa 
wale wamefungwa maisha come to jesus wale wametangaziwa hatari come to jesus in the name of the lord i speak freedom in the name of the lord i speak blessing in the name of the lord i speak your freedom come out of that Najua wewe unajua Yale ninapitia Najua Yesu unaona Yale ananisunguka Najua Yesu unaona Yale nimepangiwa Najua Yesu unaona Yale amenisunguka Najua Yesu unaona Nisunguka Najua Yesu unaona Yale wame nipakia Najua Yesu unaona Auko ninakwenda Najua Yesu unaona Auko ninakwenda Najua Yesu unaona Hapa nimesimama Najua Yesu unaona Ninakwenda Najua Yesu unaona Kale wame nipakia Najua Yesu unaona Kale wana kulilia Najua Yesu unaona Kale wana kulilia Najua Yesu unaona Kale wana kutafuta Najua Yesu unaona Najua Yesu unaona Yale ninayopitia Najua Yesu unaona Yale ananipitia Najua Yesu unaona Hapa nimesimama Najua Yesu unaona Mefika na ilobie Najua Yesu unaona Wawale wa mama Najua Yesu unaona Tua thino anoge Daguda idha nuka gigani Urata wa kwano anoge Daguda idha nuka gigani Giga so katimukuru Daguda idha nuka gigani Urata wa thino amene Daguda idha nuka gigani Giga so katimukuru Najua Yesu unaona Yale wame nipakia Najua Yesu unaona Haya ninapitia Na kuomba msada Nimesimama Na kuomba msada Yale ninapitia Najua Yesu unajua Yale ame nisunguka Najua Yesu unaona Uko ninakwenda Najua Yesu unaona Inua mikono yako juu Achiria nunguvu sasa Achiria nguvu kwa ibada ya kesho Achiria ni watu kuponywa Achiria watu kuponywa 
na achilia watu kuponywa sasa anza kutabiri nabii atabiri sasa watu wanafunguliwa watu wanafunguliwa katika jina la Yesu watu wanafunguliwa watu wanaponywa wagonjwa wanaponywa watu wanaokolewa katika jina la Yesu maskini wanabarikiwa walioibiwa mali yao wanalegeshewa katika jina la Yesu walio kandamizwa wanaachiliwa sasa katika jina la Yesu vijana walioibiwa wanaachiliwa sasa watu walio kifungoni wamepata mwangaza ninaachilia mwangaza ninaachilia mwangaza katika jina la Yesu mwangaza kwenye giza mwangaza kwenye giza wewe mchawi jona hiyo uchawi yako hapa kesho wewe mchawi jona hizo ndonga zako wherever you are haya majini uko nayo na kuamulisha uyalete hapa you have to surrender hizo vitabu uko nazo hizo vinyago uko nazo i command you now in the name of the lord utasileta hapa wherever you are naongea na kichui naongea na muranga naongea na meru naongea na kisumo naongea na mombasa naongea na 47 counties naongea na uganda na tanzania Congo na Burundi Rwanda Sudan South Sudan Ethiopia na Djibouti naongea na Zambia naongea na Namibia naongea na South Africa naongea na Nigeria naongea na Togo ninaongea na Mali naongea katika jina la Yesu Oh yes in the name of the Lord ninaamrisha kila mganga ninaamrisha kila mganga lete hizo vinyago vyako ninaamrisha kila mchawi lete hizo vinyago vyako katika jina la Yesu nimeshika nguvu ya majini nimeshika nguvu ya kansa in the mighty name of the Lord nimeshika nguvu ya HIV wewe pepo ya HIV nimekamata wewe wewe roho ya kansa i destroy your power in the mighty name of the Lord wewe roho ya kidneferia i put you down in the mighty name of the Lord katika jina la Yesu wewe roho ya uzinzi wewe roho ya uzinzi ninakukamata na vunja vunja wewe katika jina la Yesu roho za iluminati wherever you are nimewakamata katika jina la Yesu roho za devil worship wherever you are ninawakamata katika jina la Yesu nyinyi mlio kamata kanisa ninawakamata mlio tumwa kwa wahubiri mkawaribu nimewakamata katika jina la Yesu i command you go down under my feet in the mighty name of the lord nimeshika roho ya umaskini wewe roho ya umaskini you have no power you have no power in the name of the lord roho ya maskini roho ya kuangaika roho ya kuangaika nimekamata roho ya kuangaika nimekamata roho zinazoaburu shetani kuanzia anga za juu kuanzia anga za juu katika jina la Yesu na ajili ya kuchanganyikiwa wachanganyikiwe mali walipo waganga wachanganyikiwe mali walipo wachawi wachanganyikiwe katika jina la Yesu ninavunja ngome navunja ngome kule kuzimu navunja ngome kule baharini navunja ngome kule angani navunja ngome laana ya majina naivunja leo laana ya ukoo naivunja leo laana ya majina naivunja leo laana ya chakula naivunja leo laana ya kutoa mimba naivunja leo katika jina la Yesu na mateka wote naachilia uhuru Nachilia your freedom. You have freedom now. In the name of the Lord. Oh God, I thank you. Oh God, I thank you. <coughs> Asante bwana. Maana umeshuka. Umeshuka mfalme. Umeshuka mfalme. Oh, oh, oh. Alleluia. You are alpha and omega. We worship you while you are worthy so be praised You are alpha you are alpha and omega We worship you while you are one so be praised We give you oh na Jesus We worship you alone shika sadaka yako kwa sababu ya ibada na wale mko nyumbani uh, leo ni siku ambayo niliwaambia tutakuwa kwa uh, spiritual world take your position in the spirit and let us work for the benefit of the glory of Jesus Christ what i can promise you now 
is if you stand in your position then God will stand in his position in your life you have money give us support for the gospel watu walitoa mashamba yao yuzwe kwa sababu ya kanisa wana walitoka walileta injiri hii kutoka Britain weleva waliwacha maisha yao waliuza mvitu zao wakaleta injiri hapa ilipofika kwetu ikawa ngumu ku support give your offering not only your offering enda kwa male yako sema hii iende kwa injiri leta hizo pesa lipa tv mwezi mzima mtu mmoja Hiyo namba nimeweka hapo 7274 727428 ni namba ambayo ni ya ku support television Second Kings inasema 1216 inasema sadaka ya dhambi haikuwekwa kwa mfuko wa Bwana ilikuwa ya kuhani iliwekwa kando na ndio nimekuwekea hiyo 263 i think 80 whatever iko kwa television yako hizo sadaka zikiingia kwa hiyo hata kama mimi nitachukua mwenyewe nizilete kwa injiri itakuwa imefanya kazi ya dhabihu hapo ndio nilitoa hiyo 500 nikanunua nayo mabati kama wao utaitolea kupitia dhabihu hata mimi niichukue nije ninunue jana nimeleta pesa ya viti mia moja nataka tufagie hizi viti zote za plastic tuondoe hapa tuweke viti za chuma hizi kitu kimoja ni 1800 nunua kimoja nunua mbili watu wakalie tu kwa kanisa wanakalia kiti yako tutajulia huko mbele kazi kwa hivyo hiyo 263 what 830 what dio ya dhabihu ni yako na hiyo ya kuhani hata mimi nikichukua nipee mtu already spiritually umemaliza kazi yako watu wa television hiyo ka gadget nimekuwa kwa wale wametusimamia wamesema ni lazima lazima i have to buy that within uh, 14 days if not they will shut the television sababu ya 1 2 3 but si tisho hiyo tutalipa tu tutanunua uingie kwa mfuko wako wa support i don't lie kwa nini nitaganya na si shida hiyo 1 million utapata tu hapa lakini nimetaka tu ushiriki hiyo tujalipa tv haijaisha ile ya, ya vasat ile ya afrika atujamaliza kwenda tulienda kidogo akakata kwa sababu hatujalipa sasa ninaona kama mwezi huu imenikalia sababu kule Jerusalem kunataka tiles kunataka waya za stima kunataka ceiling sasa nikaona tena ni itakuwa ni ngumu kwangu but nikipata mlango i can you go with you both shika sadaka yako hapo nyumbani nyumbani unatuma kwa 727428 hapa inua sadaka yako juu baba wetu ishie milele Mungu mtakatifu kupitia jina la Yesu Kristo mwanao nasongeza ibada hii mikononi mwako ulinde mtumishi wako amekuwa hapa na wengine watakuwa hapa the whole night tunaomba kwa ajili ya ibada ya kesho ninaombea watendakazi wote naombea kila mtu abaye ashike position yake ili tuweze kufanya kazi hii kwa urahisi na kwa pamoja nyosha mkono wako ukaponye yule mama yuko pale nyumbani wale wanakuja wafunguliwe njia nimewaita hata wale mmefungwa huko tokeni huko mupate njia ya kuja hapa i disconnect you from that the devil has connected you na nakutengenezea njia just come uhuru highway the junction of hills lasi just come ingia sasa ni hapa ingia thank you jesus bwana yesu amekuja thank you father uaponye pokea sadaka zetu mikononi mwako ili utubariki ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo bwana wetu tumeomba sema amen let us see the grace and the grace of our Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now 
and forevermore. Sema amen. Wekerea sadako yako hapa.